how are you feeling right now and how do you think you are behaving throughout the day let me tell you it's because of one thing your beliefs there was once a time in my life I thought that women were bad people I had various beliefs that oh you cannot be successful throughout business or you cannot work through business and this would happen and this that the beliefs I had like few years ago were limiting me from me becoming the best I wanted to become in every realm So I started to numb myself with disgusting junk food, fapping, and doing all of them bad things to hide myself and to tell myself I'm not that person, that I'm not a chump, that I hide myself, hid myself through pleasure. So that's when I became fat. The beliefs I had in that time were wishy-washy. When aren't as I was expecting. So your beliefs play a huge role on how you believe and how you behave. If you have a <clears throat> a belief that is limiting you. You will start to believe it. Then you will start to behave it. The cycle continues and continues with every belief. And the, the most popular belief I hear is that women are bad. When you say, oh, women are bad, your relationship with women in the future would be bad as fuck. Because you are instilling that belief, right? Now you are starting to behave it. Then you are now going to believe it. Because you can see that it's happening. Often. Often times come. Um, beliefs. Comes from. Society. Family. And other things. Your environment first of all. Can dictate on how you believe and act. Because I always notice this on me. When I'm in an environment, <clears throat> I started act, I'm starting to act like a bit of a a bit of a chump. A bit of a chump. Because I realize that the way I'm acting in social situations, I'm acting like a G and this whatnot. Other people are acting like something else. When I say I am a G, I, I belong to be a G, I belong to be a king, <clears throat> I start to open my chest and sway back. That's why you see men of, of today, huge role models like Andrew Tate and so whatnot. They have these boundaries of beliefs that they installed, telling themselves that or they are the top G. So, what I've learned, like a year ago, if you do not organize your beliefs, your beliefs will be a mess in your mind, will not become that still, and I will tell you in, in just like a minute or so, on how to improve that. <clears throat> The beliefs that I often hear that say, oh, I cannot succeed, oh, money is bad, and that woman does not have taste, them beliefs will haunt you for life. When you say money is bad, now you're not going to be earning money. If you say that women do not have taste, they won't have taste for you. 
If you say I cannot succeed, well, you will not succeed. That's simple, right? So, the advice <clears throat> that I can give you for today, which I said I'm going to give you an actionable step, is to remove the mind, which I call the step processes. I'm going to read it in, in the page I wrote, and you listen, and I call it removing your beliefs through what I call it, the belief changing, the belief changing protocol. So let me read. So when you take a belief, so when you have a belief in your mind, analyze that belief, ask yourself, where did that question, ask yourself a question, where did that belief come from? And as once as you identified where the belief came from, you now destroy it and remove it from your mind. How can I say this? If you have a belief that says, oh, money is bad, you ask, you, you, you analyze the belief and ask yourself a question and say, why? Do I think money is a bad thing? Then you start coming up with ideas. Well, it is because of my mother who told me that money is bad. And money is a scam. Money is going to be no difference into your life. No anything that's going to happen to your life. As you start to identify and identify and identify, you start realizing what are the problems. So now you analyze the problems, that you destroy the belief. And what, what I like, what I like through most of this protocol, of this belief changing protocol, is that you put something positive in that other belief you removed. So if you say that oh, money is bad, now you can change it and say money is good. For success, for fame, for anything. That's the belief changing protocol. The belief changing protocol can take a lot of time. And it will require you to sit and focus. Which I am seeking, sitting right now. This is my second video of the day. You are going to be watching it on... Today, I think it's the 25th. The first one will be uploaded at the 26th. You're going to see this video. <clears throat> so the belief you place on yourself will dictate how you be. I am a warrior. I am a Spartan. I am the king. I am the, the governor of this channel. So if you want to be our co-member in, into our tribe, I will suggest for you to please subscribe to this channel so that it can grow massively and can we can give value to the world. <clears throat> and do not forget that I forgot. Give me 15 push-ups right now. Let's go. <clears throat> 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, that's it. <clears throat> yeah, that's it for me, kings. Yeah, so that's it for me. Remember, if you do not feel like going to do Go to the gym. If you do not feel like you're going to approach that woman today. If you do not feel like improving your business. What I always say is, is that hard times create.